Holly Danville and I am back today with a fun holiday tradition. I am going to be putting together a gingerbread house. I bought this one at Aldi a few weeks ago and I'm gonna go ahead and try my darndest to put this together <laughs> and not have it be um, a complete disaster but do these ever really go well? I don't think so. So, and while we put this thing together, I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite Christmas memories from my family. So, here we go. Oh, cool. Okay, this is nice. So, I have brought out a dinner plate because I figured I would need something to build this on. This, you build it on this little tray. And this little tray has like spots in it for the walls. And I assume some little, some sort of decorations. It has like a stone path. And this is probably to emulate snow. So that's really cool. So you start by kneading and massaging the icing pouch for a minute. So one of the first memories that comes to mind while I'm making this is the year it was second grade and my family was living in California and my mother volunteered for the holiday party at school and we made gingerbread houses in class. And I just remember uh, we made them out of, we didn't use gingerbread, we used graham crackers. And that worked really great because they're lightweight and they're cheap and readily available. And so I just remember that the kid that sat next to us, he was making his house and like it just started turning into just a big fail, like a hole in the top. And he was just stuffing it with candy and icing and just shove it. He was just turning it into a pinata. And, you know, I think about him a lot. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> Where did you end up, child? You crazy, chaotic child. Okay, here's what we know is gonna go in the little spots on the mat. We have a tree and we have a person here. So I'm sure that they fit into these little spots on the tray. So we're gonna set that aside for the moment. Once is to like fill the trenches of this. on the wrong side. This doesn't fit. It's like it's too long. Oh, these are the roof pieces. <laughs> okay. We're all right. This is the sides. Okay. Now I have to set this back down. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, because let's go like that. Okay. Now I got it. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. I should jam them in there, no? Maybe. I mean, this doesn't wear the sides, that doesn't make any sense. She's putting the pieces. It doesn't fit. I'm gonna. Oh! 
Does it go this way? It must go this way. I must be trying to do it wrong. Oh, fudge. Son of a nutcracker. That's not going to work either because now the walls are too small. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Okay, this might be right. This is just... Look, it has character, okay? This house has character. Uh. <laughs> okay. It's happening. It's happening, people. Okay. I did it. <laughs> Why is it leading out like that? Is it supposed to do that? It must be. That must be the way it's supposed to go. Okay. It worked. It worked. Oh, it's a little crooked on its foundation. It's okay. It's working. You guys, it's working. This is farther than I've ever gotten on a gingerbread house, I think. <laughs> it's not collapsing on itself. <laughs> this is some sticky icing. I was supposed to be talking about family stories about Christmas. Uh, my brain power got taken up elsewhere. Uh, oh, another memorable thing that happened in my family. We lived, we lived all over the place, but we lived in Kansas City, uh, Shawnee specifically, Kansas, um, in the late 80s, renting a house. And our house had a chimney and fireplace and birds would sit up um, around the top of the chimney to stay warm when it was cold out and one wintry day oh no my wall is falling down ah! oh, no. <laughs> okay this is much more typical uh, gingerbread house experience right here so the chimney we had a chimney in the house and the birds would sit on the top and one really cold day a bird fell straight down the chimney into the fireplace did not burn up and proceeded to fly around our house and that was very exciting very exciting at one point the bird landed on top of the Christmas tree, on top of the angel, on the top of the Christmas tree. So, I don't know how, my mom must have had her camera really close by, like really close by. Like it must have been out because she was taking pictures of us. Because somehow she got to that camera and it's like an old school camera with a strap and a flash and like OG camera and she snapped a picture of that bird on top of the Christmas tree angel and that bird became a part of our family forever. <laughs> we let it out the front door eventually. I remember this event and how much chaos there was in the house during it all happening. And she snapped that picture. The bird went out the front door. And forever, ever after, in our family, it is tradition to put the angel on top of the Christmas tree and to put a bird on the angel's head. We're gonna be more generous with the icing. I think I'm being stingy. And it's causing structural integrity problems in my house. We're just gonna hold it like this for a while. No! <laughs> <sighs> I just realized my uh, shingles are going different directions on the two sides of this house. It's whimsical, okay? It was an intentional design choice. we should decorate it because I'm sure it'll be way easier to um, do that. Okay. Ooh, my kids missing stuff. My kid is missing these little ones, these little 
what Mill wants. It was $8. I wonder if I have any like candy that would work. Ha ha ha! Look what I found! I forgot I have these. My coworker gave these to me. Thanks, Linda. This Christmas tree is gonna be lit. Oh, red and green ones, right? We have to do our person. Eyes. Oh no, my tree! <laughs> oh man. Let's let the cookie tree sit over here and like solidify the Skittles in it before it has to sit up. Okay. <laughs> made a decision. The gingerbread person is going to be my husband. So I gave him red hair and green eyes. Just like the real Mr. Dazzle. Now we can decorate the house. Let's do it. This is just a suggestion. The picture It's just a suggestion. It's a good suggestion though. Who in the no way it's real. That's photoshopped. All right, first thing I want to do is the peppermints on the top of the house. I think that's pretty cool. That might be the only part of this that ends up looking right. I'm a very artistic person, but this is not my chosen media. Alrighty. It's a bust for me. Yo. Okay. Okay. See, look, I did a good job. Oh, my shingle. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Did it. Gumdrops up there. Well, you can just do whatever you want. You can smash a hole in the top of it and make it a pinata if you want. <laughs> what if that kid's watching this video? That would be amazing. You're in Mrs. Chadwick's second grade class at Grace Community Church School in Sunland, California. You made a pinata out of a defunct gingerbread house. I just want to talk. Art. I had a funny story. This one happened. It struck us as so funny because it was happening at a time in our lives when things were like really kind of bleak. We had a family member that was nearing the end of their days with us and it was Christmas season and my family was pretty much camped out at this family member's home while they kind of 
on the list. And so we were going into a Target to get whatever. And the this was back in the day when Target had the Salvation Army bell ringers outside their stores. This is back in the day when everybody had those bell ringers outside their stores. So, and um, so the bell ringer was singing as he rang his bell. And we were walking up and he was singing, we wish you a Merry Christmas. So we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And then, <laughs> I don't know if it was one of those things that you had to be there for, but he ended it. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. ridiculous thing to happen at that moment in time when things were so crappy and bleak for our family. <laughs> it just like, it just hit right. And it was one of those moments that just, I don't know where that came from or why he did that. <laughs> but it was, it couldn't have been better timing to do. I'll decorate them up and then I'll turn around and you can see my, whoop, my treasure, my creation, my art. Well, here's a fun fact about me. I never got to believe in Santa when I was a kid. According to my mother, they didn't want to lie to me. <laughs> but then they raised me fundamentalist Christian, so. <laughs> the cognitive distance is real. <laughs> I will say, if you don't choose to raise your child with the Santa myth, like, that's fine. Like, I, I debated it, I didn't know if that was something that resonated right with me, that sat right with me to do. Ultimately, it felt fine. I have a very imaginative son and he, he loves the, the Santa myth. He loves it. So it, it's fine. And I don't think he'll be too brokenhearted whenever he realizes, which could be very soon, he just turned 13, um, that Santa's not, you know? But here's one thing I'll advise you of. If you don't have your children believe in Santa, please tell them not to tell other kids. I am sure that there are plenty of grown people across this great world of ours who had the misfortune of going to school with me and having me be the ones to tell them that Santa Claus wasn't real. I can remember many kids that I told crying and being distraught about it. If you're gonna have a kid that doesn't believe in Santa, just tell them to cool it on telling other kids what to believe. Cool. Yeah. Oh. Stay. I thought that would be the easiest part. It's been so fussy. All right, so I have a lot more like leaves left. So I think I'm gonna put them on these shingles. One side's better than the other. They smell like nothing. I don't even smell like candy. See there he is, Mr. Denzel, you're so handsome. You look fantastic. 
You look delicious, sir. Woo. Things fall down. Oh man, nothing. I'm a professional. Mr. Dazzle Ginger. It's perfect. Just like the real thing. Oh no. <laughs> Why does everything fall down at once? Stay, Mr. Dazzle, you're so naughty. He doesn't listen. Perfect. It's just melting down the front of the house. That's it's perfect. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, fall on the ground. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, the back turned out great. No. Oh. Wow. He's. <laughs> that. <laughs> what do you think? Nailed it! <laughs> the back of the house looks better than the front of the house. Aww, <laughs> oh. oh, Mr. Dazzle, he's having a hard time. It's, it's 2020, it's been hard on all of us, okay? Well, thanks for tuning in to hear a couple of my stories from growing up at Christmas and uh, watching me struggle to make this beautiful gingerbread house. Um, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> I'll see you next time.